What is up guys, Seneth Beast here. We're back for another NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. This time, the next matchup will be the Eastern Conference as the Bucks face against the Nets at Milwaukee. Yes, this is the next game that you cannot be asked for by the Greek Freak of Giannis Antetokounmpo against Kyrie Irving, the Nets. Well, this is what we are looking for. It's between Irving, Uncle Drew, and the Greek Freak at game at game three in Milwaukee. Right now, Brooklyn Nets are in the lead now, 2-0. But does the Bucks have a chance to take the runoff into another scoring run? There might be a choice for them to just give it a shot. But there might not be another one if we see a blue one. They're going to keep it green, obviously, because of how well they have just played, we're going to see how well they can do. It may not be tough enough for them to score, but um, it's very hard for them to keep it up on the training. And that's what we need to know who has it here. So the best place we talked about it before is the uh, Shoot Creator Challenge final votes and the winners that receive the most on this part. That's is the community of what you are going to see. So this is for the top play of summer for the second finalist vote. So if you would like to check it out here, make sure you watch now on 2K TV, part of episode 43, the Shoe Creator Challenge. And also, I would like to thank all the senior guys that have made it, that have made their requirements all the way up to high school and the, and I like to congratulate the class of 2021 graduates. Thank you guys so much. You just guys just earned it. You have made it all the way to the top. I cannot believe that you are all heading to college. But the problem is for me, I have to stay for another year. Ugh, I'm stuck here forever. What am I gonna do? Wait, I'm not forever. Ha ha ha. I don't know, I don't know what year am I gonna leave right now, but I think next year will be the finishing year, and then, and then be free to head to college. So I plan to make a reservation to just do 2022-23. So I'm just booking my college, but this is might be gonna be nerve-wracking because I may not be doing any videos um, during my college year. And if doesn't if it doesn't work for me, then I have no other choice. But to do some uh, uploading some couple videos here to just try to do my job. You know, I'm heading down and see what I have so I can get more money that I would like to get at all. Anyways, it's time for game three at Milwaukee. Fear the deer against Brooklyn. As we welcome the presentation of the NBA playoffs. You guys deserve it. Harris, Josh. Ryan, we're gonna miss you guys. And, and for all of you guys, the seniors, good luck. Ryan Schmidt, keep this picture for me for the uh, championship. Thank you. And for the picture of our memory. 
basketball. And yes, they definitely did keep the court, so they're going to just try to use at that point. Here to run down, David Aldrich on the sideline. But the rotation here, only Dinwiddie has been overcoming not to play the game. But this is what Game 3 is all about. And here is DEA. He will go on the court side and check it out what it is. So, let's get on down to sideline DA. It's all yours. Hey, Kevin. The Bucks have their transcendent superstar in Giannis Adentacupo, but he said, we've got more. We have a great team. Guys who can knock down shots. If there are five people in front of me who want to hold me back from that goal, there are four guys on the court who will make plays. That's what makes us dangerous. Kevin, back to you. Very dangerous Very player. dangerous player. Also with the other guys as well, KD too. And now the key matchup, key KD against Giannis Antetokounmpo. Along with Drew Holiday against James Harden. Dante DiVincenzo against Kyle Irving. Kyrie Irving. Chris Middleton against Joe Harris, and Blake Griffin against B.L. Brooke Lopez, that's my initial name, and I definitely have it all. Mike Budenholzer, the head coach for the Bucks, and Steve Nash for the head coach. This is his first season playing with, coaching with the team. And now, let's see what game three win is. Brooklyn wins the uh, jump ball. We start here in Milwaukee, who will win? Here's Harris. Brooklyn's in a lead right now. 2 nothing on the run. The Bucks needs to find an answer if they wanted to get back in the game. What a start! James Harden just gets his first two-pointer. And a foul is going to go on Drew Holiday, his first. And one. Look at that play. This is whatever happened to him. And 21? Yeah, that's kind of like the same year for 21, 2021. But next year will be 2022. You not you're never gonna know what's gonna happen, so I'm not gonna tell you. Well, because like we don't know what's gonna happen uh, for uh, for part of the next year planning, and see if it changes back to normal. And it's kind of hard for him for Harden to keep his shot running, but he gets his first basket also with the free throw. Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Arlen are tonight's commentators on the sideline. And you know, Greg, I observed the same thing. And here's a shot for it was better. And not just Drew Holiday, he missed one. Just talking about his awareness, his commitment. KD pass along to Harden. Focal point. If he continues on that track, Harden. I think he's going to going deep, but he did get a bounce pass. Now, bounce pass meant following the shot by Drew Holiday. Just five on the clock. Shoots up. Over Giannis, and the shot's good for Kevin, Kevin Durant. Any placing on the court is just quite enough to make the challenge. Drew Holiday against Harden. Giannis going inside, his first shot's no good. We've seen a great quick start here. Blake Griffin going over to Harden. Harden. Back over to Durant. KD. KD shoots up, and that drops. He gets comes off with a two-point game. Combination of height, athleticism, and ball skills. Durant can make some unbelievable finishes because of. Drew Holiday makes it an alley oop pass and success on Antetokounmpo. First assist is going to be on Drew Holiday. He got a first one. We succeed in the alley -oop, but it might be another solution for him to give it a shot. Durant over to Irving. Irving over again to Harden. Shoots up. The three pointer can hit, so the rebound comes up. Two for Irving. Knocks down from the loose. But he makes a three-pointer. As I insist, is on KD. So they're up now, 10-2. Dante DiVincenzo slams the dunk. Beauty play. With that play, here's Harden again. Harris still scoreless so far. No game for him. Up again, Durant. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Comes short, but he makes a shot. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. 
Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Giannis rolls up. Gets a good D on Joe Harris. Griffin going with the two on one fast break, but it won't be enough. Harris outside. Screen on Blake Griffin. Two on one. And Griffin takes the score. And Harris gets a second assist. 14 to 4 is your scoring run. Holiday trying to look over again. Now here's Dante DiVincenzo. He's got his first basket for the game. In game three, Middleton around Harden and makes a reverse layup. He will get his first basket too. And the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. Harden over Harris. Bounce passes to Durant. Durant finds Griffin. And a good D, but he gets a recover. Out to Harris. Out to Harris. Step back on the three. And that's good. Harris gets his first bucket for three. And Griffin takes the second assist. Two, two, two. On a good one to Irving. I mean, DiVincenzo, Holiday. Against Harden, finds Chris. Three, Chris Middleton. That's three assists right now for Drew Holiday. First timeout call in the game is Brooklyn. 17-9 is your run of a score. Well play out there. Might be a little might be a little bit tough on that one here. Bango is the mascot for the Bucks. He's ready to show what they've got. Also for Wheel, Hawks against the Bucks. They lost that one in the first game. But they gotta find its way back in game six game two before they head to Atlanta. Maybe they should get rid of Trey Young. What do you think? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments down below. Cole and Greg Anthony. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> Big group substitutions here as class is checked in for for Griffin. Now Irving moves to point guard. Shannon, Brown, and Green are also checked in as well. And now for the Bucks, four players are checked out. Nicholas Claxton Parker. Tucker, Bordis, Forbes, and of course, and Landry Shannon in for James Harden. I forgot who the other guy is. Irving missed the shot. Connaughton. Forbes outside. Forbes, Forbes missed the three pointer. Unable to shoot. Sham it again. Now it's A Green. Fine, let me give it a D. Let's give it a go. Ooh, Green still has it. Almost cut it away. Irving over to Shamit. Shamit shoots. First shot misses. Connaughton takes the first rebound here. Not quite enough for him to just make the momentum on the cut. Middleton against Brown. Tucker making a screen. They grab the miss. But Portis able to take the recover. He's still there working on his eye keeping a little bit. Now Irving again. Now pass to Brown. Brown over to Claxton. He bounced pass to Shamit. Shamit on the wing. He's been patient. Shamit up. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. No scoreboard yet for him. And Shamit misses again. He's got that down pat. Connaughton outside on the free point line. Over to Forbes. Middleton with Moves him. over to Middleton. Passes it back to Connaughton. To Boris. Seven to shoot in the shot clock. Here's Tucker. Over Brown. He doesn't, he doesn't hit that time. The other way with it. Last minute left here in the first period. Shamit tries again. Drops it in outside. Irving the three. Of the assist. Shamit for three pointer. Got his first basket. Milwaukee Bucks trail by nine. Yeah, they took a block pass, but Milton has recovered. He shoots it well inside. He gets another two pointer. Forty-four seconds left. To Forty-four play in the first seconds quarter. left here in the first quarter. Irving again. Irving. Irving with the defender. Irving has it back. Gets a little bit tipped up already. 
Irving drives in the center. That goes for five points. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. 26 point. seconds left here to go. Forbes against Irving. Now the pass to Now he passes to Connaughton to Forbes. Bucks pass to Bucks Brown. over again to Portis. 10 to shoot. Portis against Brown. Nice Portis point. drives it forward. He will take his first look He's here in the two. Always trying to make the right play. 10 seconds left to play. Here's Irving. Irving again. Points in the game. Passes to Green. Green kicks to Irving. Irving going deep, but he was able to make a time, but it will not be enough for him to score. 22 to 15. We'll be right back for the second quarter when we stick around for another job done. One of the great challenges is that KD has made his way to take the night in, night out. But this play is much more about he could just try to like keep it going. Let's see what he could do to keep it going out there. Meanwhile, we have four seeking a two-pointer. Second quarter is started already as Irving will try it again. A lot of approaching here. Bounce pass to Shaman. Oh! Gets a little bit ripped up already on Forbes. But the judges are just trying to say they wanted to do quite timing to just stop on the defender players of Brooklyn. Irving just got a first ankle breaking out there. Green. Rolling over is Shamit. Shamit with it. Claxton screens the ball. He goes up. But Claxton gets a rebound, and it's, good, and it's for good for two. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Portis on Claxton. Portis. Trying to make a fade, Middleton. but he dishes off to Middleton. Forbes going outside. It's missed the three, and it's turned it over. Brooklyn ball. Possession. And the Bucks making, a change Bucks here. making changes here. Irving subs him out as Harden is checked in. A little bit of change up over here. Also on the uh, also on the net the side to I mean to the Bucks Bucks side. Bounce pass to Shamit. Shamit going right back to Harden. Claxton shoots the fire to three and it gets in time. You gotta channel that competitive edge and stay strong mentally. Forbes looking over, finds Holiday, over to Connaughton. And he slammed down the dunk. Drew Holiday gets the first one. He's like sending over to the hoop, firing it away. Oh, Harden trying to make a mess up here. Oh man, Harden is like on fire. Gets six points. A little bit of start up for him tonight. He's getting warmed up, ready, and he's all hyped up. Now another shot going in for the Bucks. BJ Tucker has got his first one. Not totally falling apart, but there might be more out there. Hey, that's what we need to know about that show. Harden, I'm not sure about him, what he could do. We could stay with him next season. To the middle. Another shot missing off was Green. Just over two and a half minutes into the second Holiday quarter. rolling right after it. Pass to Forbes. Pass to Forbes. Goes right to Holiday, back to Connaughton. 4-10 remaining. Forbes for three. Six to triple. Timeout, Brooklyn. 407 left to go. 30 to 24 is your score. Five triple pass here, and now the man of the chairs are cleaning the up floor. How important they wanted to do. I don't know why, why they're going to do this. Katie, I'm going to sub you in. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and try to bring, bring somebody back in. Um, Joe Harris back in, yes. and then Claxton, I'll sub him out, and I will have Blake Griffin come back in, and then lastly I'll have is like, I'm going to see what else happens here, I'm going to go ahead and do Irving, all five, five back on the starting line. 
different look from Milwaukee, different look here from Milwaukee Bucks and Brooklyn Nets. So all five players are in starting lineups back up again for the starting franchise. And it's also the same thing doing with the Bucks. Three players are checked out. Andre Kubo Lopez, Steven Chenzo are checked in. And it's Brook Lopez denying the shot. Now another shot here for Joe Harris is good. Five points in this game. A terrific rejection. What a rejection this turned out. Irving got a steal. And now the fast break, Irving with the ball. Irving with the ball. Harris, shot fade. Katie. Katie for three. Didn't hit the sink sinker that time, so that missed him. Steven Chenzo finding himself again. Going top. Heine Cooper out again. He shoots up. Great D, Great D that's time for KD. 3.15 left to go. KD, Irving for three. Wide open shot, and that's good inside. As KD keeps it up with another assist in the run. That's two for KD. Three minutes left by. 35 to 24 is your score. Holiday goes up. The shot's missed again. And it's no good on that one. Irving still happy to be back already, but that's you know, more when he was officially got injured again. That's a shot he expects to make every time. And Irving just realizes that he could try to do it like KD did. Down to five on the shot clock. Now shots cut. Time out on the Bucks. Two thirty left to play. We'll keep you. We'll keep you here tight. We'll give you another look here. Only one change here as Irving is checked out and Bruce Brown is checked in. Meanwhile, in any other direction, we have is DiVincenzo and Chris Middleton subbing in for P.J. Reconnaughton. Three. Up inside the alley. Middleton has ten. Harden again after it. Two ten remaining. Could be going up. Harris looking right around it again, and it's denied by Brook Lopez. Two minutes left. Now the first call on Brooklyn is Kevin Durant, his first. With under two minutes gone by in the first half. Now incredibly how they've done is just not quite enough for them to just score on a big running. Milwaukee are shooting their first free throw here for the game, as Drew Holiday at two shots. Taking two shots. The first one falls in. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. All free throws, All free throws is good for Drew Holiday. Hard it up again. That's leading by eight. That's lead by eight. Here's Harris. Oh, Griffin almost could have caught, caught a tight roll. And a foul called on Milwaukee Bucks. Chris Milton takes his first. And another personal uh, team foul here for the Bucks. Try to keep its strength right in the right on the money. But they won it. Now Brooklyn is shooting another free throws here for tonight. Joe Harris shooting two. Some of those guys really want Joe Harris to be uh, to be gone already. Well, let's see how well the officials say. Because maybe Kyle, because maybe one more player could be a franchise, and they have done since uh, since many seasons. I'm thinking Kyle Kuzma should be in here for uh, Joe Harris and leaving with him to the Lakers. Both shots, both shots, good for Joe Harris. It's 39 to 29. They're up by 10. Holiday taking a block, but the recover here. Oh, Dionis goes right around KD. This is his second basket for the night. Greek three. Hola. Hola. No. That's for the Bulls. Brown, first three pointer, no good. 
Bucks trail by eight. Bucks trailing by eight. The unit turns over in the corner. Good D here for Joe Harris. 13 points. 13 points left here for this game. Brown with the ball, finding Joe Harris. Joe Harris helping out with the screen. And he goes with the 2 on 1, but now it's another block for Brooke Lopez. Harden against Holiday. And another shot here coming up will be Drew Holiday. He gets six points. They're down by six. 45 seconds left to go. Harden again. Now a look here for Harris. Looking deep. Shots good. Joe Harris on a deep throw. Harris has got nine points now in the quarter. Nine points, 12 points in the game. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor. Harden takes the ball away. Going for two on one. Harden. Oh! Watch out, folks. Greek Freak did not see that one coming. He just went right around it. He said, he said, I'm not hitting. Don't hit my face. Holiday shots good. 44 to 35 to score. We're under 20 seconds left to play here in the first half. 15 seconds left. Harden looking over again. He's got eight points right now. Finds Bruce Brown. Nothing for him on the scoreboard yet. Back to Harden. Five seconds. And he will just shoot it off from here. And that shot was up until 44 to 35 is your score for the first half. Milwaukee trailing up by no matter who he's defending. Trailing up by nine. Uh, hit by nine is the quarter coming But the quarter is just reaching it out. Shooting the ball with great with a lot of great defensive uh, strategy up here. But there might be enough more for Brook Lopez. Let's send you to David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks, we're overshifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. DA, thank you so much. We'll be right back with you after this one. Second half will come up when we come back. Welcome back to Pfizer.forum as we're ready to play off for the second half of the game. And tremendous game we're talking about is Joe Harris. And he's a new player that he just turned off, but the officials didn't care about Joe Harris, how he played, how he had played that hard. But it's not it, it's not for what he had just done before. He got 12 points in this game, only one assist. No. Not one assist, but, uh, oh, I can't get it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well, we'll see what else happens here if it switches. Constacupro, and it's out of bounds. Nice D by KD. Looking well out there, and another turnover. We'll be turning over as Brook Lopez. See the good play out there with the mobile one block of defenseman. Not with more often, but he's like just trying to go win it all at that point. He might go for the win, but we're going to need to see what happens. Go Bucks, go champ for the fans. Lopez against Griffin. Griffin, Serena on the floor, trying to look over it, and right under it, underneath is Brooke Lopez. Brooklyn lead by seven. Harris, he has two rebound, two assists and one rebounds, and that's 12 points, just like his number. Outside Irving. Three pointer for Irving can hit. You know what though? Sometimes you can be too open. Sometimes the overhand gets tricky. Holiday on the Kubo. Suits right in, but it won't be enough for him to score again. Irving tries again, and a shot's good. Joe Harris picks up his third assist. They're up by 10. Now here's Anthony Kupo doing another stuff. He goes right around, and he slammed it all. Absolutely awesome to watch Anthony Tacumpo rise up for these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Harden to Irving. Irving dish off to Harden back to Joe Harris. 
Harris over to Griffin. Griffin trying to shoot up, but it won't be in time as okay. It was an okay shot, not well enough. Free DiVincenzo manages to make it from the corner and out are down by five. Speaking of down by five, we're left down to five minutes left. Irving. Sending another defensible player. And he's got another three-pointer. 14 for Kyrie Irving. 448 left. Middleton against Harris. Defendable? I don't know if there is one. Finding Lopez. And he goes right off. Timeout next on Brooklyn. 4.35 left to remain in the first quarter. But there's a lot more things that they are just trying to do. Yeah, we'll do this next game of the Knicks versus the Sixers, but we'll have to go back to the Western Conference and check out the Portland Trailblazers at Portland for their home to face against the Suns in game three. That's what we need. And the Bucks with some changes. Bucks making some changes here. As I did not press it at the right timing. Now five players have checked in and out. Here's Constant Green. Katie moves the small forward. Shannon and Irving moves the point guard. And then the other ten. We got Forbes, Tucker, and Portis. And even without that three ball dropping forward, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Drew. Draw they can make that shot. And Claxton just got the number rebound. That will be number two. No, number three. And Durant going to pick up the outside. Four minutes left to go. Sham it in the other hand. And it's good play. Two pointer once again. And now he's got his second basket. Milwaukee trailing by eight. Middleton sends the deliver up to Floater. In the in the rim and on the net. Three six in the third quarter here as Irving looks over. KD to Shamit. Open over head pass, Claxton. Back to Dewey KD. Shots off. Portis calls his first. And he has another shooting foul here for the Bucks. And they will get his first team foul for the second half. Last season recovering from the Achilles injury. So it first started off with Nets with shooting another free throws. And then, after the Nets, they had another, they get a foul, and then the Bucks shoot their free throws. Now why did they, did, why did they start here at the good timing? It should never happen like that before. You want to make sure you're not rushing him back. You want him fully ready when it's time to go. First shot, handling it in. Only 326 left to remain here. He feels like he's 63 to 46. I mean, he's as driven a player as you'll find in this league. That's part of his greatness. And a second free throw for KD. He's good. He's come through for them at the line today. 325 left to go. Here's Middleton. Finding a look. Right around him. Tucker for three. He missed outside. Claxton, number four with the rebound. Again, three on one opportunity here. Irving, a little slightly late, but it won't make it in the rim. Holiday bringing it back in the other direction. And Drew Holiday going up, and he goes down in the drain. Harden has gotten beaten up by Drew Holiday. Ten points in the lead. Two-point lead over Harden. Another hand. Irving delivers up another two. He gets 16 points. 15 minutes on the court. He's 60 on his field goals. Timeout call on the Bucks. 234 left to remain in the third quarter. Now we're going to switch it up here on number defensive role players to just try to give up. They got. Yeah, you know, Subbing out will be KD. I will have Joe Harris come back into the game. And then I will have his uh, Irving check out. I'm going to try Johnson as well and see what he can do. 
come from left field. And, and we'll do some uh, two to three zone. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some uh, bases on that one here. We'll just do pick and rolls again. This guy loves the game. It's a matter of continuing to mature and grow as a leader. So I say give him more time and he'll refine himself in that area. Here's Thanks for calling Carolina right now. And here's uh, Portis. Shoots up. He gets it back. And a miss out opportunity. Portis takes a two pointer look. They're trying to take shape here. They're trying to take shape out there, but this may not be enough for them to just score. KD just going right after it. DD over to Green. Green. Wands up, but he makes the number two pointer. For the Brooklyn, and first basket is on Jeff Green. To try harder to contest him from there. Gerard on rep Bruce Brown. Holiday surveying the floor. Bruce Brown looking up. Another layup is on Gerard. He's 8 9 for shooting. They're down by. Now with consistency, five plus four from the paint. And on nope, the flip six. Side, the defenders have to show up again, Harris. On the interior. They've got to offer more resistance. Yeah, a little bit more up and two to here. Green, nobody around him. He makes a three pointer. Harris has got four assists. Four assists is on Joe Harris once more. By Harris, a room service guy. Right there. Bruce Brown coming here to cover up and a reaching foul is calling on Tyler Johnson. His first reach foul. Forbes, Tucker, and Portis are checked out as Deontay DiVincenzo, Andy Grupo, and Lopez are checked in. 116 remaining in the third. Still more to get there comply. A little bit close. DiVincenzo in the corner. Lopez Looking outside. over, it's Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Middleton going right from deep. And here Dante DiVincenzo. And he calls an offensive foul. Loose ball on Brooke Lopez. This is first. 102 left here in the third quarter. Last minute. Harris. Hitting the three-pointer. Knocks it inside. 15 for Harris. He's clean looking. I'm not sure what he's going to do next, but it is going to be very hard for him to just get on the shot. Over again on to Kupo. Three-pointer. Holiday misses. Joe Harris keeps it up. Finding Brown. It's Brown. Over and under. KD making a layup. And Brown got his first assist for this game. Milwaukee looking over again. And shot fading on to Grupo. Wide open look good. It's good for Drew Holiday. I'm sure if nobody is showing us, but this is what everybody was thinking. Brown trying to look over again. 13, 12, 10 seconds. Bounce past the green. Over Brook. Can't connect the two. Half court. Oh, just couldn't handle to make that one in. And the first quarter is done. 66 to 55 is your score. We are almost done to finish off the third game. We'll be right back with you after this. And there have been two very different of two different close gaming so far as they are are down by 10. And what we are expecting to show off is James Harden. Looking uh, to show him off today. He has eight points in this game. Got a good look here. One rebound, four assists. And well done with that play. Jeff Green could not able to make the, make the uh, rebound. I don't know what he was going to be doing, but it's much harder for him to just shoot it off. So as of that time, the team of Bucks trail, are trailing by eight. Harden looking again. Try to just look after it. Green outside. Green over to Harden for three. The triple pointer no good. On to Cooper with the rebound. Here's DiVincenzo up. It misses off again. Once more, Bucks could not have an answer to go for. Harden against Middleton. Green, dishing the two. 
It's the Ram, but it's missed off the target. Even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Oh, it is three-pointer, making a down look down by six. Range and a wide arsenal of moves. Holiday keeps defenders off balance. Or in the other lane. And the Nets lead by eight. But that's going up again by eight. Drew Holiday against Harden. It's not a back burning policy, just like changing it over. And it's denied by Green as the alley oop turns out to be unsuccessful. Blake Griffin slows it down. Green outside. Green finds Harris. Harris, looking it over. Bounce pass to Griffin. Over Brooke Lopez. Rebound by Harden. And it just hits it off the deck. And all oh, Irving got a piece of it. But now Dante DiVincenzo picks up a number two. Under five minutes, timeout on Brooklyn. 68-62. Second chance ever. It's just like crazy for him to just score. He's like just showing him off right now as I'll sub out Joe Harris. I'll have Luama Kabarak and KD back on the court. Following a new motion here, I'm just going to make it sure I'm going to take the uh, numbers. 43 motion. Based on that one here, we'll just get the, we'll get play Bruce here. You need to try to hit someone. Let somebody get in there. Brooklyn and Milwaukee making changes. As now uh, Garris and Green are checked out. KD is checked back in and with Luawa Kamara. He said, now, I Katie. love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. David Just Lynch. keep taking Lynch. makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? And watching under the Cooper. And watching under the Cooper. Cooper. Middleton. Taking a breath off here. And it will go cutting down by four. Or literally jump right over you. Kevin Harley just really couldn't match himself. But another Kevin just really figured it out. Where he wants to get this drive to. Harden outside. Pass back to KD for three. And it's missed again. Only 4 10 to go. Maybe a block pass, but it won't be in time. Dante DiVincenzo just trying to hold the ball. Holiday outside. Screen on Hunch to Kupo. And another missed shot for Drew Holiday. Brooklyn's over, Brooklyn over to start here. Quarter. Not just quite enough for him to just go for it. Luau. Luau, cover on. Shoots over Middleton. Very early shot, but his missed shot is off. His first shot's off, I mean. Lopez up. Another three-point miss. Get something better. 325 left to go. Irving up around again. Trying to go up. And it's off into an actual worst spot that he just finds himself with a bruise. Demon Chenzo couldn't make one, but the foul again on KD. His second. And now shooting two free throws on Dekumpo. Almost seven feet tall. Onto Dekumpo. Is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. Shooting two. Here's shooting two, Kumpo. Onto the Kumpo. I meant to say it right. And the first one. First one falls in. And now Luwawa Kamarath is checked out as Harris is checked in. Good try for him, but not well enough to play here on his court. All five players are just back on the court. Not just the only player, but there might be a solution here. The second free throw shot's good. They sit back in Greece. All of Giannis's Barton over to Irving. 
from his teammates. Greg, nothing like Irving not having right around to Griffin. To drive you to get more. I mean, clearly Griffin going around it, and it's off. Brooke Lopez calls his second, second personal on a shooting, and what is it? What is his take out there? Looks like his scoring position is giving him off track from Blake Griffin as he shoots two, two fifty-seven left to go. First half we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. And he makes the first. Makes the first free throw. Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete, explosive and great balance and mobility, powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down, and he also can pass it, too. Griffin makes two free throws, and they're down by four. For now, Drew Holiday is like losing his energy, but he might give his energy back. Yep, there you go. And now the next timeout is on Brooklyn Nets. 2.50 remaining right now, and Milwaukee has two timeouts before uh, before the game expires to zero. I'm subbing out KD, I'm going to bring Jeff Green back, Irving checked out, Brown back in, Harris checked out, um, Cavara, give him another try, Griffin checked out, Claxton check in, and last but not least, I'm just going to uh, switch it up into Slice. Now, presenting a new balance player of the game, he's on the line. And this one goes out to James Harden, the beer man. Now, the decision is, why would, why would James Harden want to do it? I thought Joe Harris had it all. I'm bringing it down on that court. Well, the better defensive player was just not quite enough for him to score for James Harden. But his amazing shot opportunity here is just 10 points. He's like, we have no choice out there. We're giving it off to James Harden. As the officials say it, it's very hard for him to train. Luwawu Kabarat has got his first basket and Harden out the assist. Not just the attitude, but what we are just looking by. On the win, yeah. Adekubo hits the triple! He gets seven, and Drew Holiday gets the assist. Now the crowd is standing up to its pleas. Harden finds green. Over on Harden. Harden shot. Questioning. Rebounding it already. Green outside. Finding again, Harden. Two minutes left. Uh, Harden is like a smooth roll here. 12 points on the run. Harden is demanding himself to just go right on him. Adekubo looking again. Adekubo slowly moving around. But he puts up another dunk. Oh, he's solid already. He's over five point lead on over KD. Brown just trying to look over it again. Claxton just taking his time. Goes back to Brown. He's going to switch here. Green with the screen. And Brown got a two point down on the board. He finally had one. And only left is they're down by four. It's almost tipped away. DiVincenzo. Not able to take the tie again. Brooklyn leading by three. Brown on top. Brown for three. Shots off the mark. Green finds Luwawa Kevara. Claxton back to Kevara. Luwawa. It's no good. Brooke Lopez makes a makes another rebound. And DiVincenzo trying to look over again. Brooke. Good. He's bringing him down to a one point, one point trail. Gordon just like surveying the floor out there. Harden to Green, over to Bruce Brown. Back to Green. Green. Harden doing it again. 
Oh my gosh! Harden is like on fire! And he's just like, no sir, there's no, you can do anything. Now there's only 29 seconds left here, so Milwaukee calls timeout. So it looks like Harden is not struggling in the bay. I think he's still going to keep it going. We're going to bring it back, all players in. We're going to see how well they can do. Let's keep the 2-3 to three zone again. And we're going to need to do some uh, crash offensive. Let's go back to play through. I'm going to need to have Arnie come in. And that's it. A lot of big group substitution in here. But it looks like uh, Bucks can just tie it up if they can make it. Harden didn't able to make it. But now the foul was called on Octocupo. An intentional foul was going to be on another team foul on the Bucks. And another turning ball here. Drew Holiday takes the second third team foul on Bucks. And Irving will shoot for two this time at the free throw line. Knocks the first. And only one left. You know, what comes to mind first when you think of Irving is his handles. The rush hour type, but also his dynamic ability as a scorer. And he hits the second. Last time out on the Bucks. You're down by five, but might be able to squeeze in by. They're down by five. 23 seconds left. We're going to see if they can squeeze it in here. Just only a two pointer. But it might not be enough for him to just score by. They might do a three, but we'll just keep it going here. Limit. Waste too much time at all. Patient the offense, and we'll just do some average. Freelance, I meant. Right now, I'm just going to make a no threes here. Crash the glass, and then play physical. Watch on Giannis on the Cooper because we don't want to make sure. You, you got to make sure there's nothing inside. No timeouts on the Bucks. One timeout left for Brooklyn. If they shoot next, then it's timeout on Brooklyn. Middleton, Middleton the three point line. trying a three point, but it's knocked out. KD has got another one, and he's going back to the free throw line as the first foul calls on DiVincenzo. Fourth team foul on the Bucks, 18.9. Stop the clock. KD trying to look forward freely. The first shot falls in. And increasing the lead up to six. If he went, if he makes it again, then their team wins in game three. He hits both. Brooklyn Nets just got a crush on this one. They have a 3-0 lead. DiVincenzo, another miss on a three-pointer. Harden outside. Harden trying to look over it, but he stops it, and they win the game in Game 3 in Milwaukee. 82-75 to 75 is his score. A lot of straight from home, but now in Milwaukee. A lot of the balance gaming, but this is what everyone was thinking. They can be. Drew did nothing. Let's send it over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Thank you very much, Blake. Another good night of work offensively. How does the team build on this? Uh, just keep that rhythm. You know, we're not always going to hit shots every night. Some nights the shots aren't going to fall. So just keeping that rhythm, keeping the ball moving, talking on defense and uh, relying on each other. Congrats on a great win, Blake. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Thank you for watching for this part of a game of the Nets vs. Bucks. Next game will be Portland against the Suns. So make sure you stick around here. And the Sixers at New York. See you guys next time for another matchup before game four. And we'll see them back for another game in Milwaukee. Peace out, bitches, for us a while as the NBA playoff dial. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, y'all probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.